In this video, we're going to organize our posts into categories. And the reason for doing that is because we want to be able to go to our site and uh, we, in the last video, discussed the differences between posts and page. So now you know that pages are a lot more permanent. Posts are something that are a little bit more frequent. In this case, these posts are going to be updated frequently, like lesson one, lesson two, just like you would a news article or you would a blog post, something that's frequently updated. So I'm going to go ahead and create a category for these. Currently, they're uncategorized. So let's check these and notice that it says uncategorized. I can check that or I can click that rather and it's not going to do anything. If I go into categories, I could create a category or if I edited the post, it would give me the option to create a category. But I'm just going to do it over here because I kind of like the practice of using the left navigation, the left menu to modify stuff on my site. It's just good practice. So I'm going to call it, well, I'm going to call it WordPress Basics. And uh, let's call this WordPress Basics Tutorials. That's fine. And let's go ahead and create a new category. Did I click on that already? OK, there it is. I think I checked it twice, but I already clicked add new category and here it is WordPress basics now you can edit this later but for now I'm gonna go into my posts and I'm gonna do a quick edit I could I could show you both I could do a quick edit or an edit in this case a quick edit is fine and just uncheck uncategorize because we currently created a category called WordPress basics so let's go ahead and check that and I'm going to update it. And then notice how it took me very quickly to this whole list of posts. Maybe that's why it's called quick edit, because it's so fast. <laughs> All right, forget about that. Let, now I'm going to show you the difference between edit. Edit is going to take you right into your post. And if you scroll down, you could also just do this. It just takes a few seconds longer. I'm going to update it. And there, when it says post updated, that's when you click view post. And now you'll notice that there's this little category that's created for you, WordPress basics. All right, and this is the this is the title, and I could add my YouTube video in here for lesson 2. But let's go to that dashboard. Let's click on dashboard. And let's organize it so you could have these posts appear in a nice organized fashion in the menu area. So menus. Under appearance, there should be something called menus. And let's call this, well, let's see what we already have. So you notice we have something called sample page. And uh, that's the only thing that appears over here. And it says page. And then you have home, which is custom. Now, what if I wanted to add something to the menu? I could create a new menu. I could delete sample page first because I don't like it. Doesn't do anything for me. And this is fine because this always takes you back home. You could also just change your home page by changing this URL. And home will always be home to the root of your WordPress installation. If you don't know what that means, go to the video that shows you how to how to install WordPress in one click in the folder that you install it in that's usually your root in this case the root for these tutorials are how to make a website folder this is that folder the root for my 
for my design services, that's a different WordPress installation in the RamonaWorks.com folder. So you may say that these tutorials are a WordPress installation inside another WordPress installation. But let's not keep it too complicated. Let's just look at the menu structure and let's go ahead and create a new menu. Page is asking you to confirm that you want to leave. I'm going to leave because I have nothing to save here. And let's call this Let's call this um, how to make a website tutorial series. And I'm going to create the menu. The menu is that strip, you know, it's that band that has stuff in there. And I'm going to select from the categories, I'm going to select WordPress Basics, and I'm going to say Add to Menu. And bam, there it is. It's a category called WordPress Basics. I'm going to save that menu, and let's go here. I deleted that sample page, so it shouldn't appear anymore. And I created that new menu, so if I refresh it, see what's going on. So obviously our menu does not appear over here. The reason for that is because it's probably has something to do with the theme so Let's click on Manage Locations and notice that it says over here your theme supports one menu. This means that the default theme that comes with WordPress currently supports one menu, which is totally fine. You really don't need that many menus for your website. So if I look over here in the navigation menu, it's saying select a menu. And we have not selected how to make a website tutorial series as the menu. So I'm going to save changes and then I'm going to go here and try refreshing it again and there you go. That sample page is removed and now you just have WordPress basics. Okay so category archives WordPress basics and BAM you got all the content that's in there. I'm going to show you how you can you know remove all this because I really I first of all I don't need this huge banner I don't need this to look this way so all these you know theme edits we're gonna make those changes later but for now we have our organization down because remember the most important thing in your website is good navigation you don't want your site visitor going into your site and they're really excited about a topic they can't figure out where they are because they're lost. Your menu is kind of like a compass. So anyway, before I go on a tangent, here it is, WordPress Basics, and everything to do with WordPress Basics is going to be here. Now if I wanted to have another category here, I could call it WordPress Advanced Tutorials. And that list would be Lesson 15 or Lesson 16, you know, as we continue with the series. So there you go. That's how you, you've, you know now how to add posts, you know how to organize your posts into categories, and you know how to make that category available on the WordPress menu.